My name is Scott Stetler, and I came to Wasatch and started working for Deloitte Hansen in the Wasatch Group over 13 years ago. Um, about eight years ago, I was asked from the previous CFO to come join CAPSA on the board. And the reason why I'm so passionate about CAPSA and why I love what they do and what Jill has created with this organization is that they have helped these survivors every step of the way. Uh, CAPSA is a domestic violence and rape recovery center. Our whole goal is to empower women to be able to build a life um, free of domestic violence and, and reach the dreams that they want to reach. One of the ways that CAPSA helps empower women is through a housing program that we started a few years ago. You know, one of the most basic needs we all have is to go home at the end of the day to a safe, um, comfortable place to regroup. And that's what we want to provide for our clients. You know, um, we started a plan um, to build a, a little neighborhood called Independence Place. And we built two of the homes and we were working really hard to fundraise um, to finish the other nine homes in that when um, we had a conversation with Deloy Hansen and he said let's get this project done um, and we were able to finish those homes in a, in a hurry and move people out of shelter and get them in their own home and moving forward. Deloy immediately jumped in and said I'm going to gather the leaders of various Wasatch Group companies we're going to raise $600,000 and we are gonna build the rest of these homes. We would have meetings and, and Deloitte would say, I have no interest in sitting around talking. Let's put a plan together and then let's go put that plan into action. And let's turn this discussion into action and actually get things done. And that's how he does business. 10 months later, 12 months later, we had the rest of Independence Place built out, had the ribbon cutting, and it was a great day. This had a huge impact on CAPSA because our shelter was full and it's almost always full all of the time and if we can get people out of a shelter and into their own home it makes such a difference in their lives and generations lives. Uh, the vision was always to have a community behind the shelter that would be safe. Just to provide that basic um, need that we all have for a safe home to go to makes a big difference in their lives. The whole process of not just having them in shelter and sending them back to the same situation they came from is what makes me so passionate about this organization. And that's why they're successful and have helped thousands and thousands of people. CAPSA is led by a very powerful woman that is very humble, but at the same time had the same attitude as Deloitte, which is there was no interest in talking, sitting around and talking about how we can make a difference in the community and help victims of abuse become survivors of abuse, she wanted action. CAPSA is just so grateful for Deloitte and his vision to help us finish up this project, his um, commitment to seeing a problem and uh, solving it and getting it done. We're just so grateful for him.